welcome, welcome back. So today I thought we'd do a little nail art and I brought out some big guns and I thought we would try a little something. So June is definitely the month of pride and when you think pride yes, you just think of all the colors and beautiful funness and rainbows. So when I think rainbows I kind of think, I know guys I'm going to bring it back to when I was like a kid but I kind of think of like I don't know if you guys remember. Do you guys remember the Care Bears? They, they do like the Care Bear countdown and then all their tummies have a different color and then yeah so it gives it a rainbow. So that's what I think when I think rainbow and fun colors and just fun joy. So I see this picture um, of the Care Bears and I'm just gonna do something like that. Probably not the same. I don't know. I'm gonna try my best guys. Like this is really out there for me, but I'm going to try to do something like this. This is my inspiration picture is just the Care Bears and the rainbow having fun. And when I seen this and I thought of Care Bears, I actually remembered that I got these Care Bear ones from Sheen a while ago. So we're going to incorporate these, do the rainbow and just see what we can do. Have fun with it. I have no clue. I hope they turn out good. But that's what we're going to do today. So just going to use whatever colors come to my brain. Like I said, guys, I'll figure all that out in the editing. Because you guys know when I work and do nails, I don't put a time on me. I just sit back, have fun, and that's how the day goes. So I do have these Benelisa liners that I'm going to try to use. Honestly, I haven't even used them yet, guys. So I thought this would give me a good chance to get them out and play a little. Some of the colors are a little off from what I want, so I think I'm gonna mix and match and guys we're just we're going for it. Like we're gonna we're gonna try. So that's the inspiration a picture is the cute little care bears. And I'm super excited. And let's just see it. Let's just see if we can create that on these nails. I have buffed these and I'm just gonna go in with a base coat and then I will go in with polish and we'll kind of see where we're going and what we're going to do. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm just going to start by basing these nails and then giving them a cure. Now it's really important to base your nails so you do not get separation from the gel polish to your natural nail or your extension. Remember guys, the base is like the glue. So here I've decided I was going to go blue, but I actually decided to go white. So ignore that little palette there with blue on it. We're not using that guy right now. So I'm going to go in and paint all of the nails with the perfect white, the Madame Glam, two coats, and then I'm going to give it a top coat. Now as I'm putting down my gel, each layer I'm going to fully cure them. So your first coat you want to cure for your 60, your second coat cure for your 60, and then you put your base coat on top and then cure that again for your full 60 seconds. Okay, now that I have these beautiful naked canvases, I'm going to give them all a little bit of a buff. I do want to take off the shiny layer of the top coat because I'm going to be putting different polish on top. You're going to want it to have something to adhere to. You don't need a base or nothing. Just give it a little buff and then you're perfectly fine to go over it with whatever gel, whatever art, whatever you want to do now. So here I'm just going to go in and I kind of find it easier this way to do the rainbow so I can line it up. I just left all three of the nails on um, on my stand, sorry. So for me, I feel like that worked best to line it up. I don't know, I just, it worked better for me in that way. I'm not no pro at like hand painting, so I tried my best with this and I kind of went out of my comfort zone, but I really like it. It actually turned out really, really cute. So once I am fine with how my rainbow looks, I am going to go in with a clean brush and just neaten up my edges here. So I just kind of want to get them all to kind of the same width. We don't want one this length and the other one this length. So I try my best to go in and clean that up and then I will cure them and then I will go in with my next color. I cure each color before I go in with the next one because guys I'm just not that good and I would definitely mess it up that way. So here guys I did go ahead and grab this ab gel. 
because I really wanted to match my rainbow colors to each of the Care Bear colors. So that is why I did the colors that I did um, to match each of the colors of the little teddies that I had in the sticker book. So I do add just a smidge of the dark blue of Annalisa just to give it like a little something and I think I even add a little white because or the blue there we go just to kind of try to get that perfect color that I was looking for that perfect shade of blue. I don't have issues mixing colors in different brands it doesn't really affect what what I was doing. I know they say sometimes you're mixing different brands and stuff but to be honest this is just for art so I really there's no issue with doing it. Now I'm going to go in and do the exactly the same thing. I'm just going to go underneath this green and I'm going to do with the blue. And again, I'm going to follow with the next color and then next color. Remember guys, I do cure after I'm satisfied with all the colors. So I cure before I put another color on it. And I do go in with just a clean brush just to help line that up a little bit. Just clean up my little lines. Now I would say here, I don't realize it here, but looking back on it, I do wish that I went a little bit thicker with each of the line of my rainbow. I do go in at the end when I do my second coat over top of each color and kind of thicken up those lines a little bit. But I really wish originally I just made the lines just a little bit thicker. I think I was going a little too thin, to be honest, in my truth for myself. So I would recommend kind of like keep an eye on that try to get them to like a decent thickness when you're doing the rainbow i think it just brings it out a little bit more So here I've decided that I'm going to actually put the yellow up top. I like how the yellow and green has a, like that nice contrast. So I actually went that route. So I'm just going to finish up this beautiful little rainbow and I do go over the lines, all of them with a second coat and I do make them just a smidge thicker. Like I said, I think that I should have probably done that from the beginning, but it's fine. I was able to clean it up, fix it up and no one is the wiser. So it still came out good. So I will just do that. I will finish these up and then we will move on to the clouds. Now I'm just going to use the liner brush that comes in the bottle here and I'm just going to kind of draw little clouds. Honestly, I thought this would be the hardest part. I'm like, oh my God, how do you draw a cloud? Like, I don't know how to draw a cloud. Guys, it's a cloud. There's no right or wrong way to draw it. You just do a little smudge and make it look cloudish. That's really what I did. I think I literally get in my own brain a lot of the times when I do art and I do different things. And I kind of get in my own way sometimes. So I overthink things and then it kind of gives me like a little bit of ee moment. But then I just took a breath and I was like, it's a cloud. Clouds, are, clouds don't really have shapes. They're blowing up there. So we go ahead and I do some clouds on these three nails. And you see like a light little blue with the background. I did that such a smidge, guys. I just went over and I kind of wiped it off and I cured that. But I do go in and I darken these clouds a little bit. And you guys will see that coming soon. So this is where I go in and I put a little bit of the blue kind of around and I just kind of want to get that little sky look without it being too blue too. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't want the blue to kind of clash. I just want like a smidge of a sky kind of vibes going on. So I just honestly guys, I play with it, tap it around, take some off, put some back on and just get it to where I like it 
and then I give it a cure. I would say I do recommend if you're going to do it kind of this way where you're just like tapping it all over, clean up your rainbow with the little alcohol around it. Make sure that's all nice and clean before you cure it, just so you don't get none of that blue, off blue white on your rainbow. So just clean that up before you cure it and then you'll be good to go. Now for this pinky and ring finger, I kind of want to do a blue ombre, but I want it to curve down kind of like how you see the curvature of the rainbow. I kind of want that to curve down and leave the very bottom of it white. I really like just to have like almost like that little tip of it white. I like that effect that that gave it. So I do want to keep that and you will see me as I go in and I kind of keep wiping off just the tip because I want to keep that tip white. So here I just grabbed my handy dandy little ombre sponge and I just take my clear jelly stamper sticky pad and I just kind of dab it on there and it's just to get any extra little linties or any any little guys that want to be chilling on there that I just don't want in my nail. So here guys I kind of want to match up the color that I have on the other three fingers. So I just go back and forth make it light I even go in in the end and then even with just more white. and. Again, I think with ombre, you just kind of keep playing with it until you get it where you like it. That's what I find works best for me, at least. There's real no like rhyme or reason. You just keep dabbing until you're good. So as I was saying earlier guys, I want the bottoms to stay pretty white, so I do go in just a little alcohol on this lint-free lint uh, pad, I can't talk, and just to wipe off the edge, the ends, so that way I'm trying to keep that as crisp white as possible. And then I just kind of go in with my brush and almost get that little curvature line as well, just to kind of tighten it up a little bit. Okay, now that I have these three out of the lamp, I go ahead and I give these a top coat. Now because the rainbow is elevated up, it's a little textured up, you're going to kind of want to go with the rainbow and not just over top of it because you will get a lot of pooling with your top coat and we don't want that. So just go over the sides of wherever way it's going and it'll just reduce the amount of top coat that you do end up keeping on it. Which again guys, we, just, we don't want a big bulky nail so we just want to good thin layer okay now we're back with the pinky and the ring finger guys I go in with just a regular makeup sponge with just the white I just didn't want to keep using more of these little bally things um, yes you can clean them off and stuff but at this point I was I was over cleaning it off so I just get another little makeup sponge and just clean that up to where I like it now once I have it where I like it I cure it and top coat it so now we're just going to go in with the little teddies, the little Care Bears. And there's really no like place I want to put them, but I am thinking ahead. Every Care Bear that I have, I want it to be standing or on a cloud. So I keep the room for the cloud. I have it in my brain that I know they're going to all stand on clouds. So I kind of keep that as a visual. And then the little guys, like there was a green guy that I thought would be super cute poking his head out of a cloud. So I kept that in mind and I just go ahead and put them on in random places, keeping in mind I want clouds under them.
So here guys, I'm just going to make the cloud a bit bigger. I want it to look like the bear is like poking his head out of the clouds. So I just want to extend that cloud out just a little bit. My hands got so sticky. It's a good thing that I really need to redo my nails because they just look extra messed up right now. <laughs> So now I'm going to go in and draw the clouds that I'm going to want my Care Bears to stand on. So all the Care Bears, like I said, are going to get a cloud. I also added a cloud up there for the little star dudes. So they will kind of be jumping on a cloud. And yeah, I just go in and I do all that to all of the nails. Is it just me or is it like absolutely inevitable that something will spill while you're doing nails? Like something. So here I've decided that these need, they're just not complete yet, right? So I'm just going to go in. I wanted to add a couple of the little stars up there in the cloud. I'm gonna go in and add a star over here with the pink one and I even think I give her some balloons in her hand as well so that way well looks like she just has fun with these little balloons so I just kind of go in and complete the set and now I'm so satisfied I think these look so so cute I'm gonna add one more star and I think that's it guys I think I just go in and I top coat everything oh no I lied I'm sorry I do apologize I do have to go in and add my clouds underneath my bears so as you see guys I just added a little bit more of that Vanalisa lining paint and I just go in and fluff up these little white clouds underneath them I think it looks super super cute and I, I don't know I just think it completes them I think they need to be on something up there right so they're just standing on some clouds I don't know I love this set I think it turned out so adorable And here guys, I'm just going over, giving everything a second glance, just to see how I like it, if I feel it needs something, doesn't need something. I'm literally so relaxed and chill doing this set. It was it was such a nice set to do, it, it was so fun. My total time was about, I think, 2, 2.07, so it took me a couple hours, but it was it was just super fun and such a chill set, I really, really enjoy giving myself the time to do the art and remembering why I fell in love with nails in the first place. And this is the reason, just to see what you can sit back and create. So much fun. So I thought that I'm going to elevate these clouds just a smidge. So not all the clouds, but all the clouds that the little Care Bears are standing on, I'm going to sugar them. So I just get some white, very fine glitter and I just put top coat and a little bit of the white polish together and I just sprinkle it on. And the only thing I really do is go around with my brush and just kind of clean up around it. Just take off any extra glitter, push it down to where I want it and really just get it so their little feet are out and just kind of make it perfect to be honest <laughs> I 
I truly believe just sugaring these clouds just elevated this set to a next level. Something so simple, but it just gives it like that little um. Guys, we're coming to an end soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this set. It was super, super fun. Thank you guys so, so much. I truly appreciate every single one of you guys. If you guys haven't, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. You never know. They might want some Care Bear countdown in their life. Have a great day, guys. Bye.